Hi guys, I have a great recipe I want to share with you. I have seen this recipe, this was a big craze on a TikTok about a year ago or so. And this is phenomenal. It's super easy, it's delicious, it tastes like chicken and it's very affordable. With the grocery prices skyrocketing and everything is just getting so expensive you can easily make schnitzel for a few cents this is I'm making this with gluten-free oats so it's a little bit more expensive oh I want to tell you at the end of the video you you want to see the review of my little friends my little neighbors my little people they give us an honest review I told them it's chicken and I made some macaroni cheese for them as well and some cookies and they tried the chicken and they gave us a really honest review and they told me what they think about it so that was really cool to see what they think because I like what I cook but you know it's different when somebody else tastes the um, taste the food so I was really excited for them to try it so these are very simple and easy and affordable ingredients you probably have everything at home I mean this is nothing unusual very simple res uh, ingredients and I I changed the recipe slightly I just added some as you can see the Old Bay and chicken seasoning that was not an original recipe but everything was just uh, one cup of um, cooking oats and all the dry ingredients, the garlic powder, yellow mustard, paprika, salt, water, or you can use milk, uh, plant-based, unsweetened, and of course unflavored. But um, I don't see much difference between water or milk. So this time I made it with water and kiddos, you will see, they liked it. So very simple ingredients. Like I said, you probably have them at home. And what's amazing about this recipe, sometimes, um, I just don't know what to make and I I just put it together in five minutes and we have chicken in five minutes. It's just so quick and easy. It's just the easy, probably one of the quickest and easiest recipes I have in my repertoire. I have a little book where I keep all my recipes. So this is super easy. So I just uh, put some quick cooking oats together with all the ingredients, added some hot water and you separate, you you divide the ingredient the mixture in four pieces and you create balls and then just press the balls into the breadcrumbs and that's how you're forming your schnitzel so i i did it how i saw it in the video but then i was thinking wouldn't it be nice to make chicken tenders so i rolled the mixture in an elongated tube, like a tube, and then I pressed it in the breadcrumbs so now they look like chicken tenders and i think i like the chicken tenders uh, better so I think I'll be making them from now on but once in a while if I want to make a schnitzel I'll just make that but it doesn't matter how they look how they're shaped they taste the same so it's really it's really the same thing so just a little bit of oil and just cook them like schnitzels like you would do schnitzels I grew up eating schnitzels of course they were either pork or chicken but we no longer do that we don't want to hurt animals and it's really beneficial to our health not to eat any animal protein so we had schnitzels one time here with some roasted potatoes and some steamed veggies and I like uh, having it with um, ranch dressing which I have a really great recipe for it from Jill Dalton's cooking show I'll put it below the recipe link to recipe here are the kiddos check it out they're gonna review the recipe for us okay so let's give it a try. What's that mean, Daydream? Dude, what do you think? Hold on, game. Okay. I see you're still eating it, dude. <laughs> All right, 
Okay, Adrian, what are you thinking about the chicken tenders? Hold on, wait, don't say it. Let Deuce try it first. You don't eat a lot of chicken, do you, Deuce? You don't eat a lot of meat at all, do you? They liked it. So we did get an honest opinion. You know, children, they don't lie. They're honest. So I'm really glad they liked it. I'm glad they enjoyed their lunch or late lunch or maybe dinner. So uh, this was really cute to see how they enjoyed it. So thank you for doing that. And um, I hope you like this recipe. And if you do, please subscribe and like. And I hope to see my next recipe.